What's going on YouTube? It's a survivalist 247 and today we are back here in American Truck Simulator taking a look at the newly released Beal Bullet Doubles. So uh, t uh, guys, this mod is by Trayscapes Modding. Um, Zetor did an amazing job with this trailer. Uh, if you guys don't know, Zetor is the... Um, he does all of our trailers over at Trayscapes Modding. He's an amazing, amazing uh, trailer wizard, as I call him. He's freaking amazing. This trailer is so, so nice. It looks so good. You guys saw some close-ups in the B-roll footage that I have playing. You guys will notice, yes, I'm not in the same place. It's fine. My load got canceled. Um, <laughs> I had some, some difficulties, and uh, I had to switch loads. Um, <laughs> one of those difficulties was I couldn't really get out of this place. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah... The, uh, the doubles kind of blocked my way out, and um, yeah, I just kind of had to cancel that load because I skipped time and it still wouldn't. But anyway, guys, we are in the Volvo VNL 300 from the Volvo VNL shop pack. Uh, Freaking amazing truck. Custom skin here by myself. Uh, Survivalist 247 Trayscapes trucking skin, as you guys obviously can tell. And we guys, uh, we got a 475 horse cat and 18 speed, and uh, we got some some doubles to pull. So let's go ahead and uh, get this baby started. We got the beacons on here. Do not want to be in reverse. Nah, that's not the right button either. So let's go ahead and get rolling. So guys, multiple pivot points are out now with a heavy haul DLC. So we're getting our first taste of multi pivot point trailers. You guys will see that this is a fantastic example of one of those multi pivot trailers. There we go, made it out of there just fine. Swing these extra wide so I can make sure I don't hit anything. Oh my god, the terrible camera shots, I'm sorry. That's my fault for being ignorant. But again, as you guys can see, we have... The Beal doubles here. It is a freaking awesome, awesome sight to behold. I've seen these trailers like this set up in real life. Not not necessarily Beals, but uh, lots of belly dump doubles, and they look freaking amazing. I think it looks awesome together. So obviously you guys know Trace keeps modding. We've got some big plans for the new Heavy Haul DLC Pivot Point release. Freaking amazing that this has finally come out. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of uh, modding groups, or, or modders at least, are gonna get into this and get some get us some really cool trailers. Um, you know, I can't, honestly, I've, it's been a while since I've said this, but I can't wait to see what Pinga does with this. Um, he's actually already released his flatbeds uh, that he had, the doubles. And those look pretty good, but his W900 4x2 chassis doesn't work, so I can't, I can't do some California hay hauling, which is uh, kind of sad. But oh well. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here. Get out of here. After that white car, we're gunning it. Alrighty, let's go. We got the beacons on here, you know, as you guys can see, we've got all these cool little features. It's got a beacon on the back here on the, uh, the second trailer. We've got a three-axle front trailer and a uh, two-axle wheel trailer with a two-axle dolly. Pulling plenty of weight here. I'm not sure if he actually updated the weights on this. 39th at now. He hasn't actually updated any weights on this. Um, but that might be per trailer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. Um, but, you know, it looks great in game. And I know th some of you guys might be hating on me for pulling this with a Volvo. But personally, I think this goes really well together. Um, you guys can hate if you want, but I <laughs> I really like the way this, uh, this trailer and truck combo look. Especially with my own custom Survivalist 247 skin. And just for everyone who's wondering, I did this skin myself. I, uh, I'm, I've gotten into skinning now for ATS. 
Um, I'm not taking any requests, and I don't believe I ever will. Um, you guys can leave me suggestions on, like, what cool skins would be, but I'm not going to necessarily do them. Uh, that's up to you guys. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing uh, Trayscape skins, a whole bunch of that, and uh, some other skins. And I do release some of my skins on the workshop. You guys saw my changeable skin. I've got a metallic skin coming up on the workshop. Workshop workshop soon uh sometime this week actually um we'll see how that goes i'll do a video on that soon and that will be released with the video so eh, excuse me that should be fun jesus christ you know it's it's really awesome to have doubles in the game now not not just doubles but apparently we have up to 15 pivot points which is really really exciting to see what people do with it um you know dijon wade has some cool trailers i'm not sure if I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna state my opinion here. I'm not really sure Dijon will ever release anything. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that he has all these cool ideas. I'm glad that he has his 367. I'm glad that he has his Trail King and everything, his Coz ads. They're really cool trailers. They're very California style. They're really cool. But he just, he doesn't have a good history of releasing stuff for this game. So I'm, I'm not hopeful. But, I mean, I, I'm hopeful, but I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting it. I mean, Dijon, if you watch this video, man, I mean, <laughs> you just, you keep repeating yourself, man, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, I mean, you seem like a cool dude, you seem like a nice guy, but, dude, you gotta, you gotta stop <laughs> repeating yourself and be like, oh yeah, it's coming out soon, oh, I'm just waiting on other people, you gotta, you gotta get it done, man, if you're gonna do it, get it done, if not, just tell us, um, you know, but Pinga, Trayscapes modding, of course, we're gonna do some awesome shit with this pivot point stuff. Um, you know, Bart, I can't wait to see what Bart will do. If Bart will do anything for free, I really hope so. Um, he hasn't released anything for free in a while. Um, RTA might do some cool stuff, but I, uh, I doubt that'll be, uh, free either. Most of RTA stuff isn't free, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, you know, we've got a lot of up-and-coming modders that I really, uh, I really hope do good with this. Um, you know, it's... It's a really interesting DLC because some people really don't know how to drive with these and you're going to see a lot of YouTube videos of people in multiplayer just not taking turns wide enough and just completely failing this entire game. It's just, it's just fail, epic fail, that's all you're going to see. I personally haven't been on multiplayer yet with the new DLC update and they have updated it so um, that'll be an experience I believe, that'll be uh, one hell of an experience. Oh, look at this beautiful trailer. Look at that beautiful logo. That Beale logo is so pretty. In chrome. So shiny. So shiny. You know, uh, Zetor really knocked it out of the park with this. He really does an amazing job on all of the trailers he does. He puts so much detail and time into the trailers without making them polyhogs, without making them make your game run like shit. He probably... I, I'm comfortable saying he puts out some of the best trailer mods for this game. Um, you know, the best quality stuff. And, you know, that's that's the goal. He wants to... We, we at Trayscape Smarting like to, uh, you know, we like to set the standard high. We try to, at least. We try. And I think we succeed. What do you guys think? you guys think Trayscape Smarting puts out some decent mods? I mean, my skins probably aren't the best, but I've only released one or two, so... It's okay. I do some SII file editing as well, as you guys know. Um, and some of you guys might be confused about the, um, the whole Trayscape Smarting tag... Um, cause you know that Zetor's stuff has Trayscapes modding on it, and my stuff has Trayscapes modding on it. You might, guys might be like, why does, why do both of you guys have Trayscapes modding? Um, and is it, isn't, shouldn't it all just be released by one person? Um, you know, there's multiple people at Trayscapes who does, who do modding. Me and Zetor are probably the biggest two. Um, and you know, it would be easy to upload, it wouldn't, it would be a lot, it would be more streamlined and more, um, centralized if we had one person upload all of it, but the, the fact of that is, it's just a pain to coordinate all that. So, uh, whenever I, whenever I upload stuff to the workshop, it's got the Trayscapes modding tag on it, because I am part of Trayscapes modding. I put out mods, you know, it's nice. It's that, it's that little branding tidbit right there. And now we're going to be stuck in Bakersfield traffic for 10 years. So we might actually just cut this out. Oh 
my god. Alrighty, YouTube. We will, uh, we will be back after I get through Bakersfield. Alrighty, YouTube. We're back. I made it through the traffic. It was absolute hell. So, you know, we got 70 miles to go. Not too much longer. You know, um... <laughs> I'm really running out of things to talk about for this video. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't I don't have too much to talk about, you know. I, uh, I can't. I'd rather not start repeating myself. It's a great trailer, guys. And then 10 seconds later, guys, it's an amazing trailer. But... <laughs> to repeat myself again, um, you know, it's it it really is an amazing, unique trailer that Beale is to me. Um, you know, nobody else has really released much anything like the Beale yet. Uh, the the belly dumps. I mean, I guess we we only, we don't really have hardly any belly dump trailers in this game besides this and Pengas. I mean, it's a very limited selection, and I know Pengas working on doubles for his belly dump, which is cool. And I think I think this is just. Not, not to bash on Pinga, because I know he has limited resources and limited, uh, computer power. But, you know, this is, uh, this is, this is a bit higher, a lot higher quality than Pinga's work. And I'm, I'm sorry if Pinga watches my videos, dude, I'm sorry, Luan Diaz. Um, you know, I like your work, man. You do great work for what you have. Uh, I think, I think, uh, more modders need to, um be like you and just realize that what they got is what they got and if they want to mod they're gonna mod uh i'm i admire pinga for his uh his willingness to uh, put out the content that he wants to put out no matter what people think of his work or um yeah i like that pinga doesn't give a crap that he has a not so great system and still mods on it i think it's great um and for what he has, he really does put out some pretty good stuff. Uh, I really enjoy most of his trailers. Uh, I enjoy his W900 when it works correctly. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, I I did enjoy his 389 when I had it until it broke. Um, yeah, I don't... It's whatever. Um, but, you know, he, he does he does pretty good, uh, pretty good mods for what he has. Um, you know, this mod, uh, this Volvo mod here was made by, a uh, Russian, um, I'm not sure who it was, it was like, uh, Chastik or something like that, um, and he got so fed up with the community just screwing with it and everything and complaining that he, uh, he put the towel in on it, and I think that's a shame because this has VNL 300, 430, the VNL 300, VNL 430, VNL 630, VNL 670, VNL 730, VNL 780, and the VT 880. All of those in one mod, and they are so so accurate and so detailed and so amazing. And he gave up on it because all the community kept bashing on him or something. I'm not sure what happened, and I think that's that is a tragic shame because this is a really really nice high quality mod. They all have correct interiors, you know. Um, Aerodes Volvo had a lot of customization, and that's what drew people to it for a long time. But it was really inaccurate. The uh, the proportions were pretty off. Um, and a lot of people are like, uh, it's a game, dude, who cares? It's a simulation game, that's, that's, that's why I care. Uh, I like things to be accurate. Viper's 389 isn't the most accurate either. Um, it isn't a 389, it's a 379. But it's got 389 parts on it, and, um, when he released that mod, 389 models, I mean, the big difference is the hood. I really just wish you would just actually put the 389 hood on there. Um, it's, it doesn't seem like it'd be that much of a, a problem. I wish he would have done it a lot sooner, but you know, Viper, he's, he's a cool guy. Um, he's been, he's been on that 389, 379 for a long time, and, uh, he's still, he still updated it to a point for a while there. Um, I think he's just kind of given up on the community for a little bit. Uh, he had a Freightliner he was working on, and... He's got another truck that he's working on, too, now, and I'm not sure what he's doing with it, but I don't think they're ever going to be public. Um, but, you know, I wish, uh... <laughs> I wish he wouldn't have, uh, given up on the community. He's, uh, he's on again, off again a lot on Facebook, saying he's, uh, he's done and gone. He could have made some cool stuff for this, um... Could have made some cool adjustments to his trucks, to his truck, for the uh, Heavy Haul DLC. But anyway, guys, we're getting here to our destination. Back her down a little bit. 
Got to turn right here. Now let's see if we can park this bitch. Oh, come on. Alrighty. So as you guys can see, uh, the way Zetor has it set up, you still can't select the hard parking. Although, I'm sure this is probably more backable than the, um, the heavy haul trailers that SCS gave us. Um, and I should have straightened this out more. Oh shit, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Alrighty guys, there we go. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like and tell me in the comments if you did not. If you guys love these trailers as much as I do, go ahead and subscribe to it on Steam and give it a like and a favorite and even share it with your friends. It is a great mod. Again, Zetor did an amazing job on it. It looks spectacular. Shadows, reflections, everything is on point. Anyway guys, link for the truck and the trailer will be in the description. And as always guys, Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next video.